Don't need anything let us know. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Just doing it in the bar, bro. Hanging out? No, talking yeah? to some people. Talking to some people? Oh, you work down here? No, talking to some people. I work down here. Anytime a man's voice goes up two octaves when he has to explain himself or he feels the need to explain himself in a situation like that, I think he just got caught on camera doing something he shouldn't have been doing. And he knows it. Anyways, uh, that is uh, Ebor Rob. I am uh, Disorderly Product News, Reagan Peabody, and uh, that was Officer Provenza from the Tampa Police Department. Now, the Tampa Police Department's policies and procedures says community relations officers are to act with tact. Tact. Uh, I don't know if it's very tactful to be inside of a liquor establishment in uniform, hugging, kissing, touching a woman. But I've got all that video, and at the end of this, it's going to end with Ebor Rob getting arrested. Ebor Rob, uh, you might think he's new to YouTube with the amount of subscribers, but he had a channel. He lost it. I don't know what conditions he did, if he gave it up or if he lost it, but he's back. And uh, he is back with a vengeance. So... I have the video uh, that he didn't even put up. He said, he said, disorderly, take this, Reagan, take this and run with it. And I got the ball, so let's go. So what you saw is those two officers walking inside the bar. They did not see Evo or Rob. And they went inside the bar, and uh, they started touching on the woman in the little black cocktail dress. And uh, that little black cocktail dress woman just murdered this officer. But Officer Brevens is in the bathroom. He has no idea Ebor Rob's there. So watch what happened when he comes out. Uh, somehow he's allowed to go behind the bar where it says employees only. Tampa police officer in there on the clock, not being accountable. So that's why we film the cops on public sidewalks and we hold our public officials accountable. If we do something wrong, what do they do? Now, some people may say Ebor Rob is doing too much, but if uh, the freedom of speech was limited to polite discourse, to polite disagreement, there would be no need for the First Amendment. He's allowed to say what he wants. Uh, he's breaking no laws. And public trust has been eroded so much that there is a need for this. Establishment? No. Is your buddy, you and your buddy hugging on girls and stuff like that on the clock? What's up with that, man? Come on, I'm holding my public officials accountable, man. What's your name and badge number? You need it for hey. official purpose? Yeah, actually, I do.
Do you need it for an official purpose? Yes, I just told you. I believe you were involved in misconduct. Uh, you don't decide whether I need your badge number or not. You just give it upon request. You, what did you, in grade school, did you grade your own papers too? It's not up to you to decide. Badge numbers. You're impressive. Yeah, I am. I really am. Have a good night. Yeah, we, oh, I'm not stopping. What's your name and badge number? After a game, a tickle the girl with the cocktail dress on, uh, they have to take a break. They're all worn out. So they come in here for a cup of coffee. Now, how much do you want to make a bet that they do not pay for that cup of coffee? I will bet you a million dollars. And why is that important? Because then it makes them beholden to that person. It makes them beholden to that establishment. How do I know? I used to be my only minority owner of a gas station and a liquor store and a car wash. And I gave away free coffee all the time to the police officers. Why? Because when when I called, I wanted them to come quick, and I wanted them to take my side when they came, and it worked. It always happened. Now, don't believe me. The Tampa Bay Times just wrote an article about this a couple years ago. Let's read it. From the March 4th, 2016 issue of the Tampa Bay Times, Police Fire Rescue's agency's policies on accepting freebies vary widely. Uh, Sorley S.D., an assistant professor in the Department of Criminology and Criminal Justice at the University of Tampa, said there is a consensus that accepting even the most smallest acts of kindness can be an ethical slippery slope for law enforcement and first responders. Even a free cup of coffee can actually become a gateway to police corruption because those who offer gratuities may expect special considerations. And that's exactly what happens. We're going to get the ID off their car. So if they don't want to identify, we're going to get Detective Fitzgerald to get their identity. We don't let anybody, we don't let anybody go. If, if they work for us, always remember, they work for us until you get accused of a crime. And if you get accused of a crime, what you doing, brother? You care about the police? I go to Evil Rob, man. That's what I do, bro. I hold him accountable, they go ahead. So we got Tampa police sitting on the clock. They say they work down here. Our tax dollars are paying for these guys to sit here. And we got the car number. We're going to go to internal affairs. And we're going to videotape that, guys, like we do. Every time somebody says that I'm not serious, I'm serious. And you guys know that. So right here, they're sitting inside the cigar shop on the clock. They just sit in there and do what they want on the clock because they're the police department. These guys are idiots. Now, I, they very well may be on a coffee break. They have a job. They, uh, they're they allowed breaks just like everyone else. But the, the point in here is Ebor Rob never breaks the law. You may not like what he says. You, it, it doesn't matter. The fact is that he has the right to say it. It's not his job to make you feel comfortable, right? But he's going to end up getting arrested. Watch. So, guys, they left their computer running. They're inside just chilling, drinking coffee. They got public records sitting open, so you know what I'm saying? They think I'm not serious, so when we go to internal affairs, talk to Fitzgerald, these guys are going to know. Y'all should go to Ebor Rob on YouTube, man. He saying they got headlights out of shit. I just pop up out of nowhere. You wouldn't believe it. It's so crazy. It's bigger than that stuff, man. Please subscribe to me. Yeah. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to sit here until they, they, they come out, because they just sit there, they're drinking Cuban coffee, they're walking in and out of bars, hugging on girls, this is what your tax dollars are paying for, guys. So the 
smoke you see is from the cigar. So we're going to sit out here and we're going to see how long these 10 police officers want to be tyrants and just sit there. Hey, you might want to get your uh, your people. They're just sitting there drinking Cuban coffee, man. It's called a coffee break, bro. It's called a coffee break? All right, bro. Well, they got like five more minutes and then I want them off. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Oh, my bad, brother. Sergeant going in there saying it's their coffee break. But we got the video of them going and hugging on girls in the bar. And I don't mind, do that stuff, man. But don't wear the Tampa police uniform. Don't pull me over. Don't pull other citizens over all our lives and violate our constitutional and human rights. So the park right here just chilling. They're all sitting in there. They're trying to get you out. Ebor Rob, me. We'll tell them it's called a sidewalk. Because I hold public officials accountable. And you don't got to be a patron here. Because they got their chairs on the public sidewalk. So you pull out a chair for her, man. And go subscribe to Ebor Rob. Yeah. Yeah, you don't know. Hey, brother. Hey. Oh, you want to speak to me? What's your name? Yeah, we have enough for listening. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, that's fine. Well, I'm on a public sidewalk, so you need to move on. Go do your job. Hey, you got a problem. You got four officers in there. Hey, I'm not going to argue with you. That's fine. Hey, that's fine. I won't step on your property. That's fine. I got to go. I'm on a public sidewalk. I don't have to go get them. I'm not listening to you. You're a grown man. I'm a grown man. Hey. So uh, the relative uh, to the man in Dos Equis commercials, the world's most interesting man, evidently uh, owns his cigar shop. The world's least interesting grandson is he's all dressed up in his bow tie uh, I'm waiting for someone to throw him a cane and a top hat and him start to tap dance and singing, Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. Anyways, this is the most interesting part, the most important part. Watch that black pole to the, rest, the, to the right of Rob. These gentlemen out here saying he's trespassing. He is nothing, doing nothing of the sort. The officer, these, these guys are going to uh, summon the officer over. Even though the officers are in there and they're not saying anything to Rob... These guys who have given him free coffee and now these officers feel beholden to him are not going to drop the point. Now watch. Officer Provenzis comes out and says, you were uh, trespassing, but you're all right there. You're all right there. And watch where he's at in relation to that, and he never comes any closer. They need your assistance. They're trying to get me removed from a public sidewalk. I need you to tell them about a public sidewalk. Yeah, I was on there. You backed up. You yeah, I backed up. Yeah, I know. You need to tell him. I was over there talking with them. He came out. Well, brother, my video shows me speaking with them. I'm not going to engage with you. You're trying to cause a disturbance. You're trying to cause a disturbance, brother. No, I don't have to leave. I'm on a public sidewalk. You need to go. You need to go. That's fine. Look at the sign. I'm not on your property, brother. I'm not leaving. If the cops can't make me leave, you can't make me leave, bro, man. Sure. Not gonna leave. Sure. Tell him, hey, he can't make me leave the public sidewalk. You need to go. Oh, really? I'm not trespassing from the public You're sidewalk. Trespassing. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're a fraud. Listen, brother, I'm not leaving. No, I don't care. So as you see, the Smothers brothers are not giving up. Uh, Cuban Dick Tracy over here has got his hand on his chin. He does not like what's going on. He doesn't like what the officers said. Even though Officer Provenza says you're fine there and Rob is actually backed up, as you see, he's not even parallel with that pole anymore. So these guys don't like it and they've been giving away free coffee for years. Of course they're not going to like it. The whole force comes in there and drinks for free. It's time to cash in their chips. They need to do their bidding. Uh, so that is the exact definition, the exact nature uh, of a bribe. No matter which way it comes, that's what's going to happen. The officers are going to go against their own wishes, their own feelings uh, on the behest, uh, on the requests of somebody they feel indebted to. You can't make me leave, bro, man. Sure. Not going to leave. Sure. Tell him, hey, he can't make me leave the public sidewalk. You need to go. Oh, really? I'm not trespassing from the public You're sidewalk. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Listen, brother, I'm not leaving. No, I don't care. Did you tell him? Listen, I want to be covered. No, you're wrong. Okay. You can arrest me. You want to arrest me? You want to arrest me? You're going to get answered. So now uh, Officer Provenza has done a 180 because these guys would not drop it and he feels indebted to him. So he's sitting there blowing on his coffee and uh, what Ebor Rob says, uh, he says it uh, and he uses a couple of words that will uh, have the YouTube uh, guys all over me. But he says basically um, you'll have a uh, internal affairs investigation against you. And Officer Provenza says, don't threaten me. 
Wait, isn't that what police officers do all the time? If you do this, you'll get arrested. They can't come to a scene without giving directives. If you go over there, that's going to be a disorderly conduct. If you go over there, that's going to be trespassing. So, oh, what's good for the geese is not good for the gander. You don't like to say, you don't like to hear if you arrest me what the repercussions are going to be. That's a threat. But when you do it, it's a warning. Get out of here. You're out your mind. He falsely arrested me. I just got to drop. No, I'm not taking off. I'm on public sidewalk. You're wrong. You're I'm wrong. Causing a disruption. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm on a public sidewalk. You okay, can't stop me, brother. You walk yourself down the sidewalk. I'm on sidewalk right now. I'm on sidewalk. And you know I am. You can't stop me. Because it's covering. You're wrong. I don't have to leave. And you know that. You need to, hey, you need to arrest me then. All right, guys, I'm going to... Uh, we're not gonna go. We're, we're not gonna go live. We're gonna let them arrest me if they want to, because these guys don't know the law. Hey, you need to call your sergeant out here. Okay, listen. I'm on a public sidewalk. You want to arrest me? Go ahead. Are you I in don't, handcuffs? Then you're not arrested. Have a good day. I don't have to leave. I'm free to go. Free to stay, brother. I'm on a public yeah, sidewalk. On, buddy. I'm on a public sidewalk. Yeah. Hey, as a matter of fact, you said that I'm under the cover. I can't do that. Well, you know what? They don't own this, so I am here. So you know that's you know that's against the law, brother. You can arrest me for all these people, but you might want to get your sergeant. If you could provide me with some paperwork, that'd be nice. But you have to articulate. You have to articulate a crime I'm committing. You have to articulate, it, brother. They cause too much trouble, are you? Uh, nah, man. Uh, this is what I do for you. Not, yeah, this is what I do for a living, bro. Uh, I hold my police accountable. Oh, no, no. Or whatnot. And we're going to see where this goes. Now you're off the property. Hey, what's up, man? No, I need to see that paper. No, I want to see. I got this. You got to see a paper? Stand up here and not leave your truck. Let me ask you something. What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? My badge number is 118. What's your name and badge number? You. You. Cause this is going to IA. You violate my right to record it on a public sidewalk, and I'm not even, I don't even have to get arrested tonight. Oh no, I was right there. No, I need to see the property line. You got it right there. All right, he's being a jerk. What's your name and badge number? I don't give a shit. I don't care about you. All right, guys. No, and you don't try. Wow. So you didn't hear it, but the ranking officer said arrest him. And then you heard, uh, no, Provenza, no, 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 no. I'm sure you've heard no more times in your life than you've heard yes. That girl in the cocktail waitress dress was probably saying no while you were hugging her. So here you go, El Jefe right here. Uh, the boss comes out and, uh, He's in charge. He's in front of all the police officers, and he's the one giving the directives. Uh, the 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 coffee bean kingpin here, who's got the whole police force underneath his command with his little bow tie. Uh, that was just absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. For Sir Prevenza, the way you comported yourself was a sham. Absolutely a sham. You you told him he was all right right there, but because the the coffee ping uh, bean kingpin didn't w accept that, you had to go and and to the point where you had to go find property lines because uh, it was that uh, uh, indecisive. So you really just listen. And I talked to Ebor Rob. Uh, I told him, listen, there's some things you did that you shouldn't have done uh, that would made yourself safer. But he didn't break any laws. The point being is that these officers uh, are in this Mardi Gras type district, the party district, and they're living it up. Uh, they're hardly acting professional. Listen, not everybody are you going to agree with. Maybe you don't like Ebor Rob. Maybe you think he's a little bit too brash, uh, uh, a little bit too uh, over the top, too domineering. But that does not matter. He didn't break any laws. If those, if that, uh, the coffee bean superstar here would have stayed inside, nothing would have happened. He was the one that pushed the case. That was ridiculous. So here's the number. Call him and uh, talk to Officer Provenza. I am the concrete constitutionalist, the concrete Johnny Cochran, the lift boxing heavyweight champion of the world, the MMA artist of the esophagus, here to protect your rights. Reagan Peabody, the superintendent of the civilian division, protecting people's rights from sea to shining sea.